everybody. Welcome back to my Comrie series. It's wrapping paper today. So I've grabbed all my wrapping supplies and I'm going to show you what I gathered from around the house. So I'll tilt this just a little bit so you can see. So I've got a pile of gift bags. Everybody's got to have gift bags, right? And boxes. I'm going to have a priority mailbox left over from Christmas time. It's exciting. And all the gift wrap here in a heap. And I have so much tape. I can't even, like, all kinds of tape. Box tape, duct tape, painter's tape, a tape dispenser that doesn't even fit, some wrapping tape, scotch brand. found an empty one. That's bonus. Marker, scissors. So this is my box with all my bows in it. So... It's got bows and ribbons in it, and it just sits on my shelf, and there's little gift bags, a little tiny box. That's kind of how that goes. Another pair of scissors, a paintbrush. need that to wrap a gift. It's amazing what little things collect. And then this is my bag that I usually try to keep everything in, so there's some more boxes in here. I'm going to pull those out. And some tissue gift paper. That's some more up here. Yeah. That gets everything out of my closet where I keep my wrapping paper and out of my container. It doesn't even hold all the wrapping paper I have, but it's a good idea. So I'll be back to show you the after. I got rid of the empty tape dispensers. I kept the gift wrapping tape with the things, the small box, because it's just, it's pink and cute, and I've got girls. So we're keeping that. Don't have very many bows left after Christmas. The ribbons, I didn't get rid of any ribbons. I got rid of just one partial roll of wrapping paper because there just wasn't much enough there to wrap a gift. This wrapping paper will be gone. When I'm done with this video, I'll get a wedding gift all wrapped, and that will finish off this wrapping paper. I'm keeping the rest of the wrapping paper because there's some good birthday wrapping paper here and still some Christmas wrapping paper, which I got. It's such a great deal, and I really do like it, so I'm going to keep it, and it'll be all used up next Christmas because I usually go through a package like this at Christmas time. Keeping the priority mailbox because I have a son who doesn't live at home with us right now. He's serving an LDS mission, so I keep a package, a box around so that I can send him packages. I didn't realize I had this one, so I got a new one for his Valentine's package, but that's okay. I've got this one now. And then I kept all the clothing boxes, because again, I use them a lot for gifts for my children, and we're going to be hitting some more birthdays coming up next month, so I'm going to need these boxes for those. I kept the tissue paper that was in good shape. I kept several bags. I mostly just kept birthday bags, and then, because I use those the most, and then I kept this glittery Christmas bag because I just, I thought it was unique and I really like it. So yeah, that is all I kept. So there really wasn't much I got rid of. I mainly just needed to go through it and get the little bits and pieces of paper things that didn't belong in there. And then I'll put it all in the bag.
wrap is all tidy. I went ahead and kept this box. It's not beautiful, but it functions on the shelf. So when I get to the organizing, I will, I anticipate changing this, but for now, this is what I have and making it work. So I kept the small box and these items are all in here, the tape, the bows, the ribbons. Okay. And they'll just stay in that box. That works well. It keeps the bows from being smashed because this blue bag would smash them. And this is the blue bag. You saw me load it in the video. So the pocket has our scissors and tape. Everything I have to have to wrap a present is right here so I can just grab it and go to the area where I'm going to wrap. Keeping the priority mailbox, it's going to go in the closet up against the wall between the shelves. And as I was going, this bag would not fit in to my gift wrap container. So I'm going to go ahead and use it for the wedding gift that I have to wrap. And then everything fits nicely. And I just have the things that I really love to wrap with and to use. And that's the point of tidying. So that's it for tidying gift wrap. I believe that finishes paper. I thought it was finished before, but I looked at a list that was online that someone had shared and it had suggested doing gift wrap along with paper. And I thought that was a great idea. Why not? Right? So I did it. Next, I will be starting into the kimono category. And the first subcategory I'll be attacking to tidy in that kimono section is office supplies. So I'll be going through all the office supplies, pens, binders, report folders, paper, like the printer paper. Um, what else did I said would go in there? I think that, oh, crayons, you know, school supplies. I've got a basket full of extra supplies that I keep on hand for my kids. So join me next time as I start on kimono. Happy tidying.